What's up everybody, Mike Drutar here, principal broker and owner of Next Home Paradise Realty here for another property tour with you today. I have a really, really interesting offering. This is one of our listings, it's listed by Tanya Power in our office. The thing that's really neat about this home is that you can get some multiple income streams from it. And the current owner is due and they're doing quite well with it. We are listed at 1.15. House has 1,840 square feet, plus some additional converted area that's not reflected in the square footage. And it's an excellent property, good size lot. Taking on a little tour here of the backyard. You see we got that wonderful tropical environment that you're always looking for. Plenty of space, we got some citrus trees here. Flowering trees hibiscus, all kinds of stuff. More citrus down here, a little storage shed in the corner. They even have a little above ground pool that conveys with the property. Uh, good for a little splash. Come and enjoy yourself out here on the deck. And then from here you can also see more of the house. Roof is in excellent shape. Exterior paint looks really good. Plenty of space out here. And good privacy given, you know, you're in a neighborhood, you have a lot of people around you, but you still feel a lot of privacy here. It's really quiet. All I can hear are the birds. So I'm gonna start off upstairs, but there's gonna be a lot to see. So I may be talking fast and moving fast on this one. So looking out, there's the street that you come in. We're at the end of a cul-de-sac, so nice and private. And you even have some ocean view from here. You could probably bring down these areca palms a little bit and open that up just a touch more. Another beautiful day here in paradise. We have a good size covered lanai out here with a natural stone tile flooring. Plenty of room for a table and chairs. Really important to have a lanai that's covered, especially when you're facing west. That afternoon sun will come uh, up for a while and it'll heat up the lanai in the entire house. But if you have it covered like this, you're in pretty good shape. You got a walkway that continues along. You see we got a ceiling fan up here for additional comfort. And starting off here in the main level of the house, you see we have bamboo flooring, They did a nice job with some of the wood accents. I noticed the rail right here as the staircase goes down, having that, that nice wood trim looks really good. Matches the window frame on the other side. Good vaulted ceiling, so you have plenty of space up here. Two gorgeous ceiling fans, open living concept, living room, dining room, kitchen, all together. We're gonna get to that in a second. I'm gonna spin around real quick and come over to our first bedroom. Good size here. That looks like a California King, I believe. And you wake up and there's your ocean view. Welcome to paradise, perfect. Did a really nice job. We got an accent wall here. Good color on that. You know, I think that's actually an Eastern King now that I look at it, it's pretty wide. Uh, good space. We got this large, just a large amount of space in this room. They've got a pretty large, beautiful armoire there. Nice style on that. Um, bamboo flooring in here. Nice wood trim baseboards coming into the bathroom. Gorgeous job on the remodel in here. Okay, so... We got the subway tile going up about three and a half feet. Uh, we got the dark stone tile, dark slate style tile. We got the subway tile going all the way up to the ceiling. I like that they did that. You know, so many people will, will stop that at about six foot. Uh, but if you take it all the way up to the ceiling like they did there, it looks great. I like that you have a nice clear glass door. Yeah, it really keeps it feeling nice and open. New commode. And check out 
this. That is gorgeous. That really looks good. We've got the bamboo fronts on the cabinets here. Brushed chrome on the pools. A little additional storage here. And then in here through to our closet. Closet looks to be about four and a half by six, maybe a little bit more. Access to the attic. Pretty standard size closet for our market. You know, we don't need closets quite as big as folks do on the mainland. We don't have all the winter clothes and the coats and things like that. So, taking a good pan around here at our main living area. Plenty of room for a dining room table. You can see this gorgeous, I think that's Ohia, post in the middle of the room kitchen very well done with the granite countertops on that plenty of space over here in our living area so you got a 45 angle on that wall there perfect to make that your TV room built-in pantry over here in the kitchen I love of how they did that with uh, the bamboo on the inside great look on that and that's carried through over here on the island and then this beautiful jade sort of color on the countertops there's actually a little more green than is coming out on the camera as i'm looking at the camera i can see there's some green but a lot of pink there is about half that much pink it's much more green it's not brighter green it's just more green and then over on this piece as well. So, see we got Frigidaire on the stove, Whirlpool on the microwave, and large French door, freezer drawer, Frigidaire, stainless steel, refrigerator. Plenty of space here, and a little view out to your garden area out there. I would have that all set up as just garden planter uh, stuff have some herbs and spices in there and then with your island back out you got lots of windows facing the west um, camera's not pulling it in but you got plenty of ocean view from there continuing on to our next bedroom love the farm style door is it farm style or barn door is it a barn door let me know in the comments below i'm not I get confused. I can't remember if it's a barn door or the other one. Nice job on this bathroom remodel as well. Again, they did the subway tile and then they brought it all the way up. I like it. Good job on that. The same tile on the flooring that we saw in the other bathroom coming around the corner. Nice light little room here. I like the blue accent wall they did on the other side. They put a little day bed here, but you could fit a queen size bed in here. No problem at all. Uh, big views out to the ocean. You can see them through your slider. So both bedrooms have their own slider out to the lanai. That's pretty nice. And then this looks out to the property where we had all of our citrus trees. And then we got a little bit of storage here in the closet. This is a very large closet. You could do much, much more here. This closet is big enough that you could put, you know, a dresser in here, keep it out of the bedroom and keep your bedroom looking a little bit more minimalist and modern and have a little bit more space. That's what I would do with it. Um, give you just a little bit more space there in the bedroom. Okay, so this is the top level. I told you there's multiple income streams that you could do with this property. Here's a second staircase entry. Oh, I think I disturbed the neighbor's dog. And then coming down the staircase, so this is pretty common here in Hawaii. We will have a living area upstairs and a totally separate area downstairs. And because we have so much slope here on the big island, it gives you a lot of possibilities. So here's what you can do. You can make that a double deadbolt lock, solid core door. You can change it out. And now your downstairs is completely separate from your upstairs. Or if you want, you got a big family, you want to keep it all connected, there you go. You could even remove that door entirely if you wanted to. But you have some options, you got some flexibility. So a lot of people will turn this in to a long-term rental. Some people will even turn it into a short-term vacation rental. 
Um, now, it has to be owner-occupied, owner-on-site, to be a short-term vacation rental. It has to be what we call, by Hawaii County Code, a hosted rental. You can't just put this on Airbnb and go live in Las Vegas and think it's all gonna be fine. This would not qualify for that. So you have a little studio down here, nice. In our market, as a long-term rental, now, I know we got folks from all over the country. Love you guys. Click subscribe. Tell me where you're from in the comments below. But I know that some folks from some parts of the country are going to be a little bit shocked at what I'm going to tell you. Here in Kona, this space right here, if you put it on Craigslist for $1,200 a month, you would be absolutely bombarded with inquiries. Something like this, you could probably get close to $1,500 a month. Private access. So you got your own door right there. They come in through the gate that we came in at the very beginning and you're set. Now, you can make this a lockout. You could make a lockout over here. There's just so much that you could do here. And then we have an additional little area sink little mini fridge so this is a smaller little rental spot you can still do something with this believe it or not this is an income stream if you want okay so pretty good so far i think don't you now there's more this is what's going to be pretty surprising to you so we just showed you the two things that we had down there I'm going around, coming down the stairs, an additional walkway, check it out, a whole nother rental. Are you seeing it? Are the numbers starting to click? I told you what you could get for the other one. The next little studio, you could combine it and get 2,000 a month off the bottom. If you combine those two that I showed you, you can keep them separate. 1,200 and 800, pretty easy. And then you have this whole unit as well. So it just goes on. The thing that's really cool about this unit is that with its separate bedroom and a separate living space, with a kitchenette, this would probably be 15 plus. So, to be in compliance with the county code, you cannot have a stove. Technically, you can't have a cooking surface, including a microwave or a hot plate. Sometimes tenants, though, they come back and they add a microwave or a hot plate, even though the owner, like in this case, did not put it in. So we have three income streams possibly down below. It's probably easier to do two. And then you could live up top. And as you're doing the math, you can see, okay, my mortgage is almost paid. I mean, that's just a big chunk of your mortgage. So at today's interest rates, every time you borrow $100,000, you're paying about 450 bucks a month. Now that can change depending on when you're watching this video and what the interest rates are at that time. But that allows you to do some math backwards. So, if every $100,000 you borrow will cost you $450 a month, every $450 a month in rent that you're collecting eats up $100,000 borrowing cost of your mortgage. And that's where it really starts making sense. Okay, guys, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments below. Please click subscribe. That is the biggest thing you could do to help me out and support me. Truly appreciate it. I wish you all... An amazing day filled with aloha.